Okay, thank you, Lauren, you wonderful person. Welcome, everyone, to the Sharp, the social hub of positivity. Today, as you can probably tell, we're not in Emory Gate in Chippenham, in Wiltshire, on the planet Earth. We're in this wonderful man's hangout shop of positivity, actually. It's El Toro Music over in near kind of Kington St. Michael in Wiltshire in England. This is Henry Ray. Henry, Hello. you lovely <laughs> man. Not only is Henry the, um, what you call someone who runs a music shop besides? Uh, shop owner. Just a shop owner. Yeah. I kind of like the bit where it has says something about the musical, <laughs> but he's just shop owner. But is he though? Because you're also a great musician. I've seen you um, play. I don't know about great. I can I, say I, I, I've seen you. I do try. <laughs> um, I guess the background is I've uh, been a musician since the age of 17 professionally. Uh, I got to tour extensively until I was probably about the age of 26 where I was signed to a development deal that took me to Japan. Wow. And I lived there for a year and then I went to... Uh, Peter Gabriel's. They sent us to Peter Gabriel's studio in Box to record nice. an album. Uh, then did a promotional tour, uh, and the band broke up during the promotional tour. So the band, the album never got released. But I'd made mm. some incredible friends here in England along the way, and as you can imagine, had the lifestyle of a rock star up until that <laughs> point. <laughs> so I guess by the time that happened, I was I, I felt like I was ready to retire I, I was old and I was tired and I was only 29 wow but wow. I ended up um, I got to to meet some incredible musicians and, and work with some incredible talent so uh, I consider that a huge success but anyway coming back to the UK I ended up meeting someone and, and settling down and decided to start a new chapter in life and that led me to work as a full-time account manager for technology companies doing retail operations mm. solutions supply chain solutions and uh, helping distribution channels and warehousing manufacturers to streamline their operations with retail so when the opportunity came up to kind of decide whether i wanted to continue doing that or do something like this and start my own shop oh, this is pretty it impressive. was really a no-brainer i had the expertise with yeah music products yeah. as, as a consumer yeah as well as the operational aspects of the business so. yeah and i think that's the difference i think i i believe between just no disrespect to just shop owners but if you're a musician and you have a music shop there's a there's something about that you know when you know that the person actually loves the instrument as part of their as opposed to a commercial scenario when you're just selling objects for the sake of it. This isn't it. It's yeah. a bit beautiful. But each one of these instruments and drums, etc., etc., ha has will have a relationship with the person that buys it. There's an emotional connection, isn't it? Generally, absolutely. It's deep in it. We've gone from retail to just deep. Now, this is <laughs> so your your musical history would probably then you know people would then work out that is probably right. You are particularly good. I've seen you, uh, as I said. It's not because I've seen you. Not I am. Yeah, I bless you, my son. You are. No, it's not that. It's just I've seen you go. Wow, this guy's. You know, you're on the on the nail, as they say. Very, very, very good. And it's no wonder. And you've had a history that proves that you've obviously put your ten thousand hours in and then some. It's an interesting. <laughs> well, it's that's what it's saying. That ten thousand hours to make someone particularly good at something it doesn't necessarily follow because you won't be. You know, but anyway, you do, you have. And w it, on that, we're in fact uh, fortunate to have you and your band. What's your band called? Uh, the band, funny enough, is called El Toro. I like what it's doing <laughs> there. Do you know how I like it? Mine's Ed Deeding and the Can Do Collective. We get the name of the, the associated. <laughs> right, I can't do with you, uh, Alan. Anyway. Your, your band's called El Toro, you're playing, but, but, so this is March, where are you playing next? Because we're getting you in the Unlock Reset Festival in August. This? Last, at the Moncton Park Golf Course, Wendy Pete. Yeah, this, this Saturday we're, we're booked at the Albert Lounge in Bedminster, Bristol. Uh, and I think the following week we're at the Wyvern Tavern in Bristol. Wicked, because this so, goes out on Sunday, so anyone's watching that, you either went to Bedminster or you didn't, but phone us. Next week, it's Bedminster, Wyvern. But the best thing to do is go to find El Toro 
classic dance floor rock on Facebook or Instagram or El Toro Band. Yeah. And watch out for the notifications. Cool. Just join the club. Cool. And support the band. Come and see us live. Well, you'll definitely get a chance and, 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 and as many chances as we can between now and the August one, if we can fit you in anything that we're doing. Obviously, so we're going to be doing more stuff with the wonderful Sune at the Red Lion in Laycock. Red Lion and the George, in fact. Um, you were talking to me about an idea of a kind of show, uh, of a songwriter showcase that you want. Uh, I was suggesting the Old Road Tavern and Lindsay, because I think that's, this sounds brilliant. Tell everyone what you're talking about. Cause well, part of concept. the whole community side of El Toro business is not just to supply local musicians in the surrounding area with musical instruments, it's to provide services such as guitar servicing and repair, uh, tuition and coaching, so live performance coaching, uh, providing workshops on uh, live performance for musicians, uh, kind of like the do's and don'ts, the ins and outs of performing yeah, live, wicked. Um, how to be successful in your band using today's technology with live streaming, you know, these workshops will cover everything. So there's the plan to do those kind of events, but also to do clinics, uh, guitar clinics and workshops wow. for guitars, bass and vocals yeah because I've got That's all that experience idea. so it'll be me produ producing these things yeah first and foremost and then the idea is to get kind of more famous people involved once that takes off mm -hmm. and have them you know, do yeah, these clinics do these and yeah yeah I've seen that on behalf that. of the shop but yeah. one of the one of the ideas was to have an event uh, on a monthly basis where we showcase local talent because mm. there's not really enough of a music scene as mm. such here in Chippenham or the local area whereas it's well known and we don't have many bands coming from out of town to play in Chippenham mm. whereas you know in Bristol you have bands from all over the southwest going to Bristol yeah I think you know it, it may be a long shot but we could get if we could create some kind of music scene here in the Chippenham area whereas we have music musicians from all over wanting to play here yeah you know have a venue as such but also start uncovering the local talent mm. for what it is because there's some great talent here and I, I need to show yeah. this no yeah so we we obviously put a and have done for years in fact we started the first open mic in Chippenham so I don't know 20 years ago wherever it was so we definitely do that and we we obviously bring we brought people in I agree what you say I think there is a lot of local talent a lot of it gets a good showcase at the old road, but with regard and the three crowns, you know the three crowns? No, I think yeah, I've heard yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, in, in, it's lovely, lovely, uh, lovely Is people running. Is it or, or No, no, in Chippenham. No, and there's obviously oh, great right. stuff at the Parent Arts Centre in, in Caution, so they, they've got an open mic going. Red Lion in Laycock every Sunday, hmm. there's an open a mic, which is really, really popular. Uh, now, obviously, there's a difference between an open mic and what you're talking about in the sense that, you know, if you look on the Can Do um, YouTube or, or various channels, you'll see loads of really good, you know, Will Norton? Yes, yeah. very well. P P yeah. So people like that who we're working with on a, a record label, the Can Do music label at the moment, and Gia Michelle, who's from, Cat I was about to say Spain, which would be an insult. No. Unless of course you're Spanish, he's Catalonian. Just in case you're worried, but Jonah Jones, really good. Uh, um, Matt Lloyd, a whole host of different people. Or Harmony Asia. I know Matt very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. So you're doing some great things. Yeah, no, but what, what I'm saying is that doesn't mean I, I'm with you though. The more the merrier. I think. Yeah. I think that we used to use the Neil's Hall in Chippenham. That's been kind of hijacked by some sort of absurdity that they seem to just have some really kind of I don't know. Back in the day, there was a much cooler place, and mm. there was more accessibility. And now there's this kind of bizarre, I don't know, tribute stuff and what have you. And it's you know, okay, everything's got its place. I'm very much in the idea of promoting original uh, uh, live music anyway, or live everything actually. That hence our shop in Emery Gate, where we do music as well. We have gigs in there. I don't know if you know that in the shop in Emery Gate. Have you been in there? Not yet. No. Well, you need to bring advertisement at this place. So you can put it in that shop. But if you go in there, we we on a daily basis we we play music and have music sessions. But your level of 
clinic and everything else. Not I know you're talking about all sorts of levels. You've got a rehearsal studio here. I don't. That's, uh, that's next door. It's is a that different the, business. Is yeah. that Danny? Yeah. A lovely serenity audio. Serenity. Look him up. Yeah, you know we. Yeah, absolutely. Great geezer. Um, really, really highly professional. Again, it's, it's funny that you're both here because you're, you know. Yeah. Um, not funny. I mean, that's funny. How funny is that? It's <laughs> yeah, it's convenient. It's a little music complex. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's a rehearsal space as well. He does amazing sound and sort of lighting, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. In fact, he, he was hopefully we're going to have him for the if he's not booked up because he's very popular for the August um, bank holiday gig that we get you guys to do in. Moncton Park mm. in the Pitching Park. What a beautiful setting. Yeah. Wendy and Pete, thank you for that, Claridge, who support that and the community. Now, the other thing that you're doing with us is you are going to donate these lovely headphones for our music studio, which I can't tell you I how, have. how very, very chuffed we are. Fantastic. What a lovely man. I want to say thanks to Jackie headphones. Webb as well for giving us the old doodah. But Hopefully we're going to do more and more with you guys and uh, maybe work out way because obviously we work with lots of young people. This will be really useful. And maybe, yes. do you, you record your own stuff? Where do you record if you're going to take did. them before you taste them back? I, at the moment, I, had, I don't have capacity to record my own stuff. Yeah. But when I do, yeah. I'll be doing it probably here in the shop yeah. at the moment. But uh -huh. That's always, that's a bucket list thing, isn't it? So yeah, well, why don't you come I'm, and visit I'm our studio and see what... You know, it's it's obviously it's a community studio. So although we have had a Spice Girl record there, I'll just say that, put it out there to sort of levels. So it's obviously okay, good enough. One. Sport, uh, sport, sport. You should call me uh, Melanie. Yes, yeah, sport, yeah she's nice. a very very dear friend of mine. So she comes, does a couple. Of, she's done a couple of singles from there for Can Do, not for. Yeah. Well, we've released them to for work with the uh, refugees. So she's been associated with us for nearly all the 25 years we've been going, because this year's our 25th anniversary. So I'm going to talk to this gentleman more about whatever and sponsorship, but thank you for that. Thank, thank you for all you're doing for the community with regard to live music, etc. Look forward to supporting more of your concerts and this thing. Get hold of Lindsay Miller at the Old Road, I think, I will for do. that showcase, because it's the coolest venue in town for that. Oh, good. Do you know I mean? Well, you know it is. Yeah. You, know, you, you must know it is. I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. Anyway, you're great. Thank you, El Toro Music. And looking forward to seeing the band El Toro. This is Henry Ray, and this is me saying, it's a cut, Lauren. Okay. Spinning at a thousand. Spinning.